Hi and welcome to part 37 of ASP.NET Core MVC tutorials and on this part we are going to add the register methods to our account controller. So the same like in the login methods we are going to have two methods for the register as well. The first one will simply redirect the user to the register view. So for that we write public action result and the name is going to be register. Inside this method we simply return the view. And the next method is actually the method that is going to handle the logic of the registration. So for that I'm going to create a new method with the same name register and since this method is going to handle the data that come from the form I'm going to decorate it with an HTTP post. So let's start with the implementation and the first thing that we need to check is that we need to check if the model state is actually valid. Next we are going to create an identity user so for that we write var user is equal to new identity user. And for this class, we are going to simply assign the username property to, to our login view model. Next, let's try to register this user. So for that, we write var result is equal to await. And we are going to use the user manager class for the creation. So we write in here user manager dot create a sync. And this parameter is going to get the user we just created and the login view model dot password. Let's check if the result was actually successful. So for that, we check the result dot succeeded property so in case that the result was successful we need to simply redirect the user to the home page in case that the model state is not valid then we are going to simply return the user to the same view by writing return view with a parameter login view model so this is all you need to do to create the register methods but before we continue with the next part let us first create the logout method as well the logout method is going to be much more simpler than the first ones because inside this method we simply need to sign out the user by using the sign in manager class so for that we write await sign in manager dot sign out async and then we are going to simply return the user to the home page so this is all for this part and on the next part we are going to add the necessary views so the whole functionality works thank you guys for watching and see you on the next part